evening. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. We give Him the praise and the glory and the honor. Father, we bless you. We thank you, Lord, on this first watch of the night. As we begin our prayer, we say thank you for giving us the opportunity to pray. Get Kameli Felenkosi to Jesus Christ to be thou glorified, be thou honored, be thou praised. We honor you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, our Father. We love you, Daddy. Thank you so much for giving us an opportunity to pray this evening. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Welcome, folks, and thank you for joining me. As we begin this evening, let me welcome you by name. Sis no more Bane. Bless you, Sis no more from PE. Bless you and welcome. Uh, Buli Mazui, bless you and welcome. Dosh Chukuchu, bless you and welcome. And uh, we have Tembelam Kamelo, bless you and welcome, Sis Tembeka. Mam Kamelo, Pa Mamkyu, Pa Mtata. And we've got also Tokos Lekasa, bless you and welcome. Good to see you, Mama. And uh, we've got Nozugozele, bless you and welcome. We've got Nomakule uh, Saki, bless you and welcome. Welcome, Tandile Dana, bless you and welcome from Bisho Zone. Uh, we've got Umfu Simdala, bless you and welcome. And we've got Unati Awashina, bless you and welcome uh, from Bisho Zone. Unati Plaiki, also from Bisho Zone, bless you and welcome. Khala Tobane Komane, bless you and welcome. Zikona Velile, Zuelicha Zone, bless you and welcome. Tunambane, bless you and welcome. And uh, from Mtata, Stulile Chevu, from Zuelicha, bless you and welcome. We've got uh, Ulali, uh, Tsipa Boy, bless you and welcome. Unati Plaiki from Bisho Zone. Noctula Nguangwane from Started and bless and welcome. Felix Omori, you bless and welcome. Uh, Asanda Sokoni from uh, uh, Bisho, bless and welcome. And we've got Umzo uh, Akesai, uh, my friend from uh, uh, Alberton in Johannesburg, bless and welcome. Uno uh, Sipong Duapi, bless and welcome from Northwest in Mahikeng. And we've got also Mfusim Dala from Bisho Zone. Of course, Unoma uh, Nganyo, bless and welcome. And Nomzingisi Mnipika, bless you from Ensho Zone. And we've got Noma Tule Saki, bless and welcome from Ekomcha. We've got Mfundisu Ashe from uh, Zuelich Zone, bless and welcome. Nozugongozi, bless and welcome. Mfundisu Sabelo, Ndingane, bless you Mfundisi uh, and the family from Bisho Zone. And we've got Nontikele Lokuta from Goodwood in Cape Town, bless you and welcome. Uh, we've got Nosipo Makiwane. Bless and welcome. Uh, Barbara Makuba, bless and welcome. Joyce Mtanga, bless and welcome. And we've got uh, Untombi uh, Mapozwana from Saudi Arabia. Asalam Maleko, bless and welcome. We've got uh, Dosh Bala, bless and welcome from Kingstown Zone 1. Owe 2, Siziba, bless and welcome. Owe 2, good to see you. And uh, from East London, I believe. Uh, Nonsikla Lokuta, bless and welcome. And uh, Tosh Chukuchu from East London Zone, bless and welcome. Nomashubimini, bless and welcome. Sandisiwe Pulana, Bless and welcome. Nom tanda zositoi. Bless and welcome from Bisho Zone. Yvonne Mango. Bless and welcome, Mama from uh, King Mustang Zone Two. And uh, we've got Dosh Tubula from Zolicha Zone. Pinky Salanto. Bless and welcome uh, from East London. We've got Le Lee Jack. Bless and welcome from Port Elizabeth. Sandy Siwe Pulana. Bless and welcome from Bisho Zone. Zimkita Samla. Bless and welcome. From King Stan Zone 2, Pelisa Makoma, bless and welcome, uh, uh, Mamu Pelisa and Fundi Suma Koma from East London and Monty. And we've got Noma Shubimini from King Stan Zone 1. And we've got Nom Fundo uh, Faltain from B from PE, bless and welcome. We've got uh, also Huzia Lindu MD from King Stan Zone 1, bless and welcome, Fiti uh, Kolani, bless and welcome from Pakamisa, Nom Fundo Faltain from PE, bless and welcome, Pelisa, bless and welcome. And Dosh Tugula already acknowledged well, the zone, and uh, we've got also Ulele Ndonga, bless and welcome, and we've got uh, Upumla Lupuana, bless and welcome, Yvonne Badi, bless and welcome from East London. Uh, and we've got also uh, my wife, bless and welcome, babe, uh, for coming in. Uh, we've got also Unol uh, Tando Daniel, bless and welcome. Mandi Isa, Trebisa Mkringwana, bless and welcome. Z Matlingozi, bless and welcome. Kanyiso Ntuntuana, bless and welcome. Yvonne Badi, also acknowledged. Yani Pinda Pinda, Gia Bazalani, Facebook. Yani Tandi, Velenji, Ni Pinda. Sabula la Gia Bazalani, Gia Kamalenko, Siotu Yesu Christu, Mandini Buliso, Moleni. 
ni eh, botani sia botisa eh, molweni sia bulisa eh, sanbonani sia bingelela dumelanga dumedisa good evening to all of us as we begin this evening we are starting our prayer as always uh, we are praying on this matter of covid-19 folks it's been a 21 days and it is we continue with our 21 days of prayer and fasting from the 11th of January we are stopping on the 1st of February we are praying just hitting hard on this issue of the covid-19 god must hear our prayer and he always does and he will answer us and today's theme is standing in the gap as we pray on this matter of covid-19 standing in the gap we must stand in the gap and we must pray let's invite the holy spirit as we begin. Again, mas memo ng mga basalan sa kalisan siya. Gaya kamaligay sa Kristo ba o siya bulela? Gaya gaya tosh ng lichos palo na mo ng mga siya. Mema iba natin ng plan juni na natin sa tandaasa. Eka mene lichos ng kosyo tis Kristo. We give you praise, O God. We honor you. We love you. We praise you. Be with us, Father God, as we begin in this time and this season. As we start our prayer this evening, we thank you for grace. We thank you for mercy. We thank you for love. We thank you for all the good things you do for us and you do according to your word, Lord. Be Thou glorified, be thou honored. Hear our prayer this evening. Receive our intercession. Kosi yamkel is kungo zetu namchange psugu yamkel ang kosi is elo zetu eka menega si Christ receive ang kosi se zuni upendu lambo ingo elango ba ungu tiko pendu laisa bule lage ba o eka menele chilen kosi tu si Christ sa kalisa tiko wetu si asba wenu naati futu zagus neta namchange psugu. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And God's people say Amen and Amen. All right, we are on, uh, as, uh, the, our theme is standing in the gap, and we are on Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 30. The Bible says, so I sought for a man among them who may make a wall and stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land that I should not destroy it, but I found no one. So God says, I stand, I stood in the gap for I, I sought a man. I sought a man among them who would stand, who would make a wall and stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land. But I did not find any. Our prayer point says, Lord, we, we are standing in the gap today on behalf of our nation, so that no further destruction will come upon your people. Have mercy, O Lord, on your people, in the mighty name of Jesus. Mastanda zike basalane, siti nkosi, siti aba, si fuman. Uti, it literally is lengkosi, da funumtu, oza kuma, abe, abe, abe ngumtu, oza kuma, paka ati kwa bantu, nesi stale giso. Masime na mshan, siti nkosi, nge. Siti bawa ibano iba tahu kosi tahu yehova simile siti bawa tahu mastandas Father in the mighty name of Jesus mercy Lord on us have mercy on your people have mercy on us as we stand in the gap in the mighty name of Jesus on behalf of the nation we stand as intercessors. We stand as those who are standing in the gap. You say you are looking, you are seeking for those who will stand, who will make a wall and stand in the gap on behalf of your people, on behalf of the land. And in this instance in Ezekiel, you did not find any. Lord, today find us. Here we are. Sita bangos. Similar natingos. Similar kosi. Kulendao. Yogumela isizu. Yogumela abantubako. Aba bula wa ilencho longwane. Moyo ingwele na na zinzapu ezi lila. Na babantu abalila. Na babantu bako nkosi. Aba kala kue. Tiko na manda. Tahu yehova. Tahu bao. Iba no fefe kuti. Father have mercy. Father have mercy. As we stand in the gap, we are trusting you and we are believing you as our deliverer, as our helper, and as our advocate in this season. In Jesus' name, we pray. Prayer point number two. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 59, verse 16, he was there. He says he saw that there was no man. He saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his own arm brought salvation to him. 
He said, Father, we are available. We will become the intercessors. Sita bangosi. Siza uma enda weni yoguma. Siza uma enda weni ufunega sime guwe. Siza bangaba kungi. Tito na mandla. Masime natu bazalani. Siti siza bangaba. Masiz mi se kutito. You see an intercessor is somebody who intercedes, who goes between, between the people, between a crisis and the people who can be in the, under that crisis. That's an intercessor. So when you intercede, you intercede you intervene, you intercept the ways of the enemy. May we be those who intercept. May we be those who intervene. May we be those who interrupt the enemy at his game in Jesus' mighty name and come and intervene on behalf of the countless majority of our nation that are going through this season of struggling and fighting against this pandemic. They will win. Let us pray to them. As tandas, get kamaliga su Christ ba wasi atandas. Si tandas la bonke abantu bako. Abate ba funya na lencho longan. Ins up against up. As there's a funya na lencho longan. Na bonkosi abate bonkosi ba kita mu lencho longan. Eka men liga su nam change kosi. Si tingosi si atandas. Si akunga genga yabo. Si ma eke pin genga yabo. Si tiba wo iba no faith. We pray to them kosi si vuse as intercessors. Lord raise us up as those who intercede, intervene, intercept, interrupt the ways of the enemy. Father, we pray that our intercession will be tangible, that it will start in prayer, but not only stop in prayer, but will physically intervene and physically and practically begin to do things that will intervene practically in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for your children to be able to stand, not to be moved, not to be shaken in the mighty name of Jesus in this hour and at this time. In Jesus' name, we pray. Prayer point number three. Let us pray according to Psalms 106. Verse 29 to 30. The Bible says in Psalms 106, verse 29 to 30. Thus they provoked him to anger with their deeds. And the plague broke out among them. Then Phineas stood up and intervened. And the plague stopped. This is a powerful scripture that shows how when they had provoked God, God allowed the plague, did not cause it, but allowed the plague to come into the land. But Phineas stood with, and intervened. We don't know what Phineas did. That's intercession. That's standing in the gap. Phineas, may you become God's Phineas today. Oh, hallelujah. May you become the Phineas of God. Whichever way you will intervene, whichever way you will intercept, whichever way you will interrupt the ways of the enemy, whichever way, whatever formula God will show you to use. Some of us have been through this pandemic and there are ways you survived. It will do you a great, it will do others a great deal of favor just to share your testimony. Of course, I have a disclaimer that says this is not a prescription, you know, uh, necessarily, but it's a testimony to say, this is how I made it. I used this. I used that. I used that. There are people, folks, who have no clue, no clue. They don't know where to start. They don't know what to do. The first thing that happens when they get attacked by this, by this COVID-19, they get, they become fearful. They become anxious. They start panicking and all they can think of is, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. And you know, the moment you go that route, that's where this pandemic finishes you. You know, it's a spiritual thing. The moment your mind just goes into that, that's where this thing just, it just finishes you off. You have to have a ability to resist have faith, stand your ground, and we must be the Phineas generation and know how to intervene. May God show you. Maybe you've got a, a physician you know.
know who has helped you. You can recommend people towards that physician. Maybe you've got somebody, you've got an advice, you've got a clip, you've got something you know, you've got, you know, a certain prescription that you receive. You know, give people an idea. This is what I used. And of course, have a disclaimer. This is not a prescription. This is just my testimony. This is what I used. This is what I did. Maybe it can work for you. There are all kinds of things. Be an intervener. May God show us how to be the Phineas generation. Just that motivation. Some people just need a phone call. They, 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 they don't need to be super spiritual. They just need a phone call to say, we're thinking about you. You will be fine. Let us pray today that we will become a Phineas generation. A Phineas generation that will stop the plague. The Bible says, when Phineas intervened, the plague stopped. It stopped. May we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, raise us as a Phineas generation. Whatever that means. Whatever that it, whatever in our context, in whatever way it means in our context, in our situation, raise up, raise us up as a Phineas generation, a generation that knows how to intervene, a generation that knows how to intercept, a generation that knows how to interrupt the enemy's you know ways, a generation that knows how to intercede, how to get in between and to provide solutions, to bring interventions, practical interventions in the mighty name of. Of you. Make us, Lord, cause us to become that Phineas generation in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we arise in this season. We refuse to be complacent. We refuse to be cowards. We refuse to be to withhold to, to, to draw back. We we decide and we choose to go forward in the mighty name of you. Raise your people, touch your people, those right now who are struggling, who are suffering with this pandemic. Touch your people, heal your people, God Almighty. You are our God. You are our healer. You are our father in this in the name of Jesus. Help us even in this season to overcome. Kikazi betu who are in the front line. Kosi a ogulula gubabanga chafa. Genga kosi yokonga nyelwa gum sebenzi wale covid. Bawa na manja bomeleza bantu bako. Bawa na manja bomeleza babene nkatalo. Kosi na manja pezu kwa lenkatalo banayo. Ba penje nkosu kwazi. Ukuti nkosi banga tzala pa manja. Bawa tzala guwe afuma nega guwe. Get kama liga yesu. Tiko na manja empower our front the mighty name of Jesus Christ we are praying and we are trusting you in this season in Jesus name prayer point number four prayer point number four the Bible says and in John 15 verse 13 greater love has no one than this than to lay down one's life for his friends so the prayer point says Lord help us in this season not to hold back but to go all out and lay our lives down for the sake of those who are lost and need you and introduce them to you. Laying our lives down, no greater love than this. And look, truly speaking, we are praying for our nurses and doctors because if there's anybody and all the health workers, all the people who are in that front line, if there are people who are laying down their lives, those are the people because, you know, you got to work. You are working in an environment of COVID-19. It's not like it's somewhere out there. It's here. It's in this ward. It's in this vicinity. It's in this building. You are working with the people. You know, you can be infected anytime. So we really pray that we will lay down our lives. And let's pray for those who are already laying down their lives. There are those who are at home. Abanyanga, abantu abakulayonga le COVID. You are laying down your life. May God give you grace. May God give you confidence. May God give you power and courage to continue to do it. To continue to lay down your life while you are keeping safe yourself. While you are 
are eating exactly the things they are eating because that's the advice you know we get from our doctors to say if unyangum to on a COVID seller as that seller in our goba unganga yas by eating into you know you drink exactly what they're drinking you eat what they eat because you'll never know because you are just need to be all so cautious so may God help those who are laying down their lives in this hour may God give them grace give them strength give them power give them anointing and just grace them with fortitude and grace them with tenacity and grace them with longevity and grace them with unending strength because it takes strength it's exhausting it's draining to deal with people every day and I mean may God give us grace let us pray father in the mighty name of Jesus we pray for those who are laying down their lives and we pray that more will come more will be available to lay down their lives Father God, it's so amazing how we even continue not to appreciate them. And yet they lay down their lives. But we don't appreciate them. We don't value them. We don't thank them. Father, we pray today for all their families because they work in these environments and they bring these this they they are likely to bring these things in homes in homes among their own families their own families are also vulnerable oh father we pray will you cover them will you protect them we pray for those specifically right now who are who are looking after covid-19 patients in their homes who themselves are laying down their lives for their own, you know, for their own loved ones. Father, will you strengthen them? Will you give them wisdom? Give them ability to understand what to do, how to do it, when to do it, what not to do, what to say, what not to say, what to do. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uba Pamko Samantha, O Kubega, Eka Menelisha, Lenko Sutis Christus, Yatandas. Look at another prayer point, prayer point number five, and we're wrapping this up. Luke chapter 10, verse 33 to 35 in the New Living Translation. Listen to this. It says, Then a despised Samaritan, underline despised, then a despised Samaritan came along. And when he saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds uh, with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him on to, to an inn where he took care of him. The next day he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, take care of this stranger. If his bill runs high than this, I will pay you the next time I come around. Wow. Wow. We know the story of the Good Samaritan. It's an unbelievable story, but it's so true. And we know what happened before the Samaritan man could pass there. There was a Levi. There was a what? A, a Pharisee. Umlevi nom faras. Yeva. Abandaba Vutaya, Bav Konza, Bachon, who gets away. Bashum to up, Ekalen, we are cool, we are cool, Ubeti and Abant, we are pa, but I, I, as your cons, I didn't expect the pipe is it, or no pipe, by a cons, as your towel, I was about right sack tandaze. Ah, in Bazalwan, I said, I'm going to show. This Samaritan was able, you see, religion will make you do things that are not relevant to people. You can't be religious with your Bible, walking, rushing to church, and leaving behind the sick, the bound, the downtrodden, the dying, in the name of, I want to go and be, and be a, and, and just do spiritual things. We need to be 
relevant. Yes, I know there's a time to rest. Yes, I know there's a time to recoup. But we cannot on our way pass people. So we need to be good Samaritans. We need to learn how to be good Samaritans. And the Bible says a despised Samaritan. In other words, sometimes the most generous people are the irreligious people, are the less religious people. And the most arrogant people, excuse me, and the most conceited people and the most high-minded people are the religious people because they, they talk this big language of this big God but they don't care about practical things of day-to-day -day people. We must never be like that. Then your religion is irrelevant. This, the Bible says, this good Samaritan, he paid the bills, medical aid. He took out of his own money to pay the medical bills of this man. Sometimes that's what you can do. The best you can do is to, is to pay somebody else's medical bills. To say, I cannot come to you. I cannot help you. But I can take care of your bills. Send the bills to me so that you are taken care of. This is how we intervene. This is how we intercept. This is how we intercede. Primary care. oil. Help us, Father, to intervene, to intercept, to interrupt, to do what we need to do to help people in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and God's people say amen and amen. God bless you and thank you for joining me in this time of prayer. As usual, we offer after we have prayed, we have put the offering details there at the bottom of your screen. Please feel free to offer as the Lord moves you, as the Lord leads you. Let's continue to be faithful now in our tithing. Let's continue to be faithful in our giving. Uh, you know, I know when we don't meet physically, they are thinking, well, I, I want to bring my money physically. Well, right now, there's no physical meeting. So let's try EFTs. Do it electronically, you know, in every form of electronics. If, if you want to physically come, the church is always uh, office. The church office is always open, uh, you know, from uh, eight in the morning uh, to half past four in the afternoon. June.